Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel Jai Shri Javaji. Today we shall continue reading the chapter 8 from the book Change Your Thinking, Change Your Life by author Brian Tracy. Chapter 8 Think Like a Genius continues The Miracle of Personal Development One of the great turning points in my life came when as a young man in my early 20s, I discovered the miracle of personal development. My life has never been the same. I learned that through personal development, you can indeed pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. I learned that by learning what you need to learn to achieve the goals you have set for yourself, there are virtually no limits on what you can do, have or be. The truth is that the future belongs to the competent. You could lose all of your money tomorrow, but as long as you still had your ability to think and reason, you could make it all back and more besides. The future belongs to those who are better informed. The future belongs not to those who have more versus those who have less, but to those who know more versus those who know less. Rapid obsolescence. Knowledge and information in your field are doubling every two or three years. Whatever information base you have is rapidly becoming obsolete. You must be in the process of continually taking in new information and ideas just to stay even. Fortunately, there is a simple three-part program that you can use to keep yourself ahead of the pack. I have used it and taught it to many thousands of people and I have files full of letters from people whose entire lives have been changed as a result. The three keys to continuous personal and professional development are continuous reading, continuous listening to audio learning programs and continuous training. Read every day. In order to stay on top of your job, you should read in your field at least one hour per day, underlining and taking good notes. Anything less than one hour per day will put you in danger of being passed by your competitors. My friend Jim Ron advises, work at least as hard on yourself as you do on your job. At the very least, you should get up every morning and read 30 to 60 minutes in something educational. Take careful notes. Review your notes on a regular basis. Reflect on what you have learned and think about how you could apply the new ideas in your daily life. Use your powers of visualization to imagine yourself using the new information in some way. This will dramatically increase the speed at which you learn and retain the new ideas and increase the likelihood that you will use them at the first opportunity. If you read just one hour per day, that will amount to about one book per week. One book per week will amount to about 50 books per year. 50 books per year will total about 500 books over the next 10 years. At the very least, you will need a bigger house just to hold your books and you will probably be able to afford it as well. Give yourself the edge. According to the American Booksellers Association, fully 70% of American adults have not visited a bookstore in the last five years. The average American leads less than one book per year. 58% of adult Americans never read another book from cover to cover after they leave high school. Meanwhile, in the information age, if you are not reading continuously, you are in serious danger of being made obsolete by the passage of time. However, if you read one hour per day, one book per week, you will be getting the equivalent of a PhD in your field every year. You will become one of the smartest, best informed and most productive people in your business. Beating the drum Some years ago, I had a good friend who read very little. He was not convinced that reading would make any difference to his life or income. He had gotten out of the habit of reading after he left school. He argued with me that reading was not that important. 
Meanwhile, he struggled to make a living. He was continually frustrated. He was continually losing business to his better informed competitors. For almost three years, I kept at him, encouraging him to begin daily reading. Finally, he gave in and began to read each morning just for a few minutes. He was amazed at how helpful the reading was and how much more knowledgeable he was when he spoke to his clients. He soon began reading, as I had recommended, an hour per day, one book per week. Within a year, his income had doubled. After two years, his income doubled again. Today, he is one of the highest paid people in his field. And he is proud to tell me, every time I see him, that he very seldom meets a client who is as well informed as he is about their businesses. And the more he reads, the more competent and confident he becomes. To earn more, you must learn more. The rule is that to earn more, you must learn more. You cannot move ahead in your field further or faster than you are doing today except to the degree to which you learn and practice something new. The second part of your personal and professional development program consists of audio learning programs. If you travel in your work, you spend between 500 and 1000 hours per year in your car. If you turn this driving time into learning time, you will get the equivalent of 3 to 6 months or 40 hour weeks of additional education just driving from place to place. I have met countless people who have doubled, tripled and quadrupled their incomes by the simple act of listening to audio learning programs as they drive around. Take all the training you can get. The third key to continuous learning and to unlocking your mental potential is for you to take all the training you can get. If a training program is offered in the public arena, it has already been proven to be highly effective. The person presenting the program has probably acquired many years of experience and may have spent hundreds of hours assembling the program that you can take in a half or a full day. You can sometimes save yourselves week, months and even years of hard work by attending a seminar given by an expert who explains to you state-of-the-art ways to get your job done faster and easier. When you combine these three, regular reading, regular listening to audio learning programs and regular and continuous training, you have a dynamite combination that can propel you forward at a greater speed than you ever could without them. Knowledge is power. As mentioned earlier, Francis Bacon said that knowledge is power. This is only partially true. In fact, only knowledge that can be applied to practical purposes for someone else is actually power. The libraries are full of knowledge that does no one any good. To change your thinking in a positive and constructive way, you must continually feed your mind with new ideas. You must stay current with your field. You must regularly associate with other leading people in your area of specialization. You must continually looking for ways to do your work better, faster, cheaper and easier. You must be continually seeking ways to serve your clients and customers better. You must stay on the cutting edge of your field so that you are and you continue to be one of the most valuable people in your business. No Limit Thinking In the information age, knowledge is everything and the amount of knowledge that you can gather and apply to your life is limited only by your own personal ambition. There are nearly no limits on what you can accomplish except for the limits you set for yourself. The more you learn, the more you earn. The more knowledgeable you become about your field, the more courage and confidence you will have to implement your skills in your work. The more courage and confidence you develop, the higher will be your self-esteem and your sense of personal power. You will become virtually unstoppable in everything you do. Action exercises. Number one, 
Begin today to create your own personal library of books in your field. Read 30 to 60 minutes each day, underline and take careful notes. Number 2. Examine your recent unexpected successes and failures in your business. Could they be indicative of a trend that you can take advantage of? Number 3. Approach each problem in your life systematically. Imagine that the solution is exactly the opposite of what you are currently doing. Number 4. Continually expose your mind to new ideas and viewpoints. Ask lots of questions. Consider the possibility that you could be wrong. Number 5. Listen to educational audio programs in your car. Turn your car into a mobile classroom, a university on wheels. Number 6. Select an area where expertise can help you to move ahead in your career. Develop a plan to study and learn everything you possibly can in that area. Be the best at what you do. Number 7. Associate only with positive, optimistic, creative, happy people who are going somewhere with their lives. Get around winners if you want to be one. Okay all, let's end up for today. In the coming sessions, we'll start reading the chapter 9, Unleash Your Mental Power. Thank you for continuously listening to our recordings. Have a wonderful day.